Hi, I'm Carla, and we're here in the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen today with Natalie Portman, and today we have 20 minutes to make a raw vegan carpaccio, and we're going to see if Natalie can follow along with me through verbal instructions only. You nervous? Terrified. Why? I see coconuts. Don't know how to open those. Uh, I see mandolin. Never <laughs> used one. Exciting. And I hope I leave with my fingers intact. So it's very important that we do this quickly because people don't think you can have quick, delicious vegan food, but also that we leave with all like limbs and body parts intact. Please. All right, so on a scale of one to 10, how confident are you in your home cooking skills? Uh, like a one. A one? Oh, you're getting up to like seven or eight. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right here. All right. Okay. So directly in front of you, Natalie, you've got a cutting board, but then a tray of tools. There's like Be lab goggles. Yeah, there's like so much stuff. Actually, we need the goggles. Okay. So because you're nervous about the coconut, let's just like get it out of the way first, okay? okay. And it's gonna be done and then- You said use the goggles Yeah, Yeah, just slide those goggles on. I really, I don't want any injuries. All right. Hey. And then grab a coconut of your yeah. liking. Okay. And Whatever using, like- you, Are we using the hammer? We're gonna use the hammer, but make sure you grab the coconut that like feels good in your hand. Grab okay. that measuring cup. What does that cup. mean? You know, like we're similarly petite okay. in stature. Yes. So just one that like feels good in your hand. You feel okay. like you can hold it. My heart's beating fast. Oh, what you're do gonna I do? Be, this is gonna be amazing. So take um, the liquid measuring cup. Yes. And um, one of the kitchen towels. Okay, got it. And then just lay the kitchen towel over the measuring cup over the measuring Yeah, just cup. like over the top of it, like you're gonna do a magic trick, it's underneath. Got it. And then find the eyes of your coconut, those three little. Oh yes. Right? And put um, said coconut into the measuring glass. Oh wow. So it's kind of anchored by the towel. Oh, this is like good tricks. Right? Okay. So okay. grab the screwdriver. Yes. Are you ready or lefty? Left, uh, righty. Okay, so <laughs> like... it's put the screwdriver in your left hand. Okay. Grab your hammer in your right hand. Got it. And then put the sharp end of the screwdriver into one of those eyes. And okay. you might have to like, I don't know, I'm sort of angling my body sideways to the cutting board just so I can use my arm a little bit to anchor the cup. Okay. But basically what's happening now is with the sharp point down, you're gonna smack, oop, I just did a total. Are you trying to make like a hole? Yeah, you're gonna punch a hole into the eye of the coconut. Oh, I did that again. Wow, mine's, there we go. So just keep going till you punch through. Okay. And then we I have did. to pull it back out. Jesus, that's hard. I know. Ugh. These are harder than okay. the ones the other day. All right. So now that guy's out, we have to do the other two. Until that one's in. Oh. Cool. Part of my shell came off. Interesting. Tell me when you're punched all the way through that second eye. And Getting then- Getting it out is like the- I know, you have to hit it harder than you think. And then third eye. I may need to. But this one should be easier. And then we're gonna take the screwdriver back out. Oh, jeez. It's quite snug. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Why this guy doesn't want to go out. All right, scared. he's out. Oh, jeez. Okay, got it. All right, now uh, get rid of that kitchen towel. We don't, we're going to need the hammer, but we don't need the screwdriver. And just turn the coconut over and shake out all the juice. Into the measuring Into that measuring, yeah, you can use that measuring cup. Okay. Because if we don't do that, once we split it open, it'll fly all over the place. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. So get any little shardy bits off of your cutting board. We're gonna hit the coconut along its circumference with the hammer. And you're gonna have to go around a couple times and you're gonna have to hit it a little bit harder than you think again. And you're resting it on the board? I would use the um, kitchen towel again so it doesn't roll about. And then just start hitting it and turning it, smacking it and you'll hopefully see a little fault line. All right, I give mean, it a really good, I mean, you have to hit it harder than you think. Like, 
really whack it. Do you have it in half yet? No, not at all. Do you see like uh, a fault line? Are across? we doing both coconuts? No, you only need the one. Okay. But do you see a fault line opened up? No. Okay, so. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, you see it a crack? Happened. Okay. Is Very it all the way around or just in one? No, almost. Okay, so then could just rotate it again and hit it really hard oh, on I did it. it. Nice. That's very exciting. Awesome. And then. Wow, that's very. Now, if you're lucky, as I was, uh, a piece of the, the outer hull might have broken off. If not, now take one half, whichever half you want, and put it cut side down on the um, kitchen towel again. And now we're going to use the hammer again and kind of hitting not as hard this time, but I want to create little cracks in the shell so we can get the outer shell off. And it'll, as soon as you see a crack again in that outer section, you should be able to break off a piece of coconut. Yeah, keep hammering, just smacking wherever you see a little fissure, give it another whack and see if you can just make that line open up a little more. Yeah. And then you should okay. be able to just break off a piece of the coconut meat. There we go. You got a piece out? But it's still got brown on it. Is on the thing? outside? Yeah, it's gonna be brown, but it's not that like right. dark, hairy, exactly. crunchy guy. Okay, cool. So you got it open. It's very fulfilling when it finally cracks. I know, the coconut I is did a, have... a mysterious beast. All right, so just take okay. your little glass bowl, your vegetable peeler. You're just shaving, just shaving the coconut into really thin slices. So this just, is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now take all of your coconut debris, toss it into the giant glass bowl. All right, all right, okay. all right. Speeding okay. through. Watermelon butchery coming up next. Yes. So it's going the cro like crossways. So like put your okay. knife where it would be directly across the equator line and then move it over one or two inches. Okay. And then cut there. So you're gonna cut the rounded end of the watermelon All off. All right. And then that guy can go into the big glass bowl. I find it easy if I spin my watermelon back around so I can put my knife right of center again, kind of five inches away from where it was cut open. Okay. And just cut again. So now put it down flat on one of the cut sides. You're gonna go around the side and just slice off the, the rind and the white part right underneath and expose the watermelon flesh. So let me know when you feel good about that you've trimmed off all the white. I usually have to go around a second time. You there? Yeah. Not like, I know you're physically there, but have you I'm arrived? <laughs> you've arrived and at that moment? Yes. Okay, cool. So okay. now take it again. Is it supposed to be a certain shape? Mine no, you're just taking off that okay. outer edge because okay. we don't want to eat that part. So now just cut this guy into two half moons, straight through the middle, down the middle. Okay. Push one off to the side. We're only gonna use one half because okay. we're just making one carpaccio. And then upend it so that the round, the flat side from the middle is yeah. on the cutting board. Okay. And then just working across with your knife, try to get super thin, intact, half moon slices of watermelon. All right, how many slices do you have? I don't know, probably around six or seven. Oh, you're perfect. Okay, so go over to your serving plate and then just lay the watermelon onto the plate, overlapping it a little bit, and then just making these nice slices that cover the bottom of the plate. Cool? Great. So when your plate <laughs> feels like a plate of watermelon. Yes. Grab the bottle of olive oil, give a little drizzle drizzles, have, you've had savory watermelon salads, I'm assuming. Oh, yes. In your life. And then a little bit of that flaky salt everywhere. So we're gonna season every layer. I think a lot of people think vegan food and they think like nut loaf and like right. cashew yogurt right. and things that are bland or like just one color. And yes. this, what makes this delicious, I think, is like you're seasoning it all along the way and we're gonna have all these different textures and colors and it's gonna be Incredible. Great. Now we need that mandolin. Whew. Whew. It's the green slicey thing. Yes. So what there is is like this little um, glove. And that's a safety glove that's gonna prevent any fingers from getting injured because we don't want that to happen. Grab your zucchini. Yes. Cut a tiny bit off from the, the stem end. You're not gonna go crosswise to make rounds. 
Oh. I want to kind of keep the natural shape of the zucchini so people know what it is and don't think it's a cucumber and just run the zucchini from above the blade, across the blade, and sort of, you need to press oh, the shoot. zucchini down so that it makes contact. And then you should make these like long, oblong zucchini ribbons. Can pick one up. It should look like a big, long zucchini tongue or like a long oval where- Not yet. Okay, Are you fine. still going on the same spot or do you keep going back I on just the keep skin? going on the, over the same spot that I was at so they'll get wider and wider as you move towards the seed pocket. Just pick one up and we can kind of check if we're- Should if, I show it to you? No, I wish you could. Oh, I can't. <laughs> so the goal is like- Look at all my need for like, um, I know, you I'm know, with you. Outside, outside approval. Dude, I'm just talking to like camera <laughs> on a tripod. I'm getting nothing, literally nothing back. Can you kind of twist? Yeah, mine it? should be thinner. They were looking right, but they're a little thick, I think. A little bit thick? I Can think you I need kind to. of fold them? And or? now I'm getting screwy with my mandolin. I need perfection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I they should be I've got four tonguey looking things. Okay, they kind of naturally want to curl after they're Fold sliced. them in half lengthwise? Yeah, you guys, yes, exactly. But if you fold them all the way through, they're gonna crack. But right, just fold them I enough do. to like put a, a crease in them. All you have to do is just lay them on top of the watermelon so that this you can- This is crazy so that you can see the watermelon underneath. So if you don't feel like you- four of these? I have five, but four is wonderful. Okay. All right. So get rid of this Michael Jackson glove and go again with a little drizzle of olive oil and another pinch of salt. These are cool. They're called watermelon radishes. Yes. The thickness of your mandolin might be fine. So start at the small pointed end. Okay. And this time we want to just create round slices and they're like so beautiful inside i love these, these are beautiful right so now these going for like super cash practically like dealing them like cards don't cover everything because at this point we want to be able to see a little watermelon peeking through so okay, pretty great. Though. super pretty all right next up grab one of the beets with the beet tops cut them off leaving yourself about an inch and a half of stem and then turn turn it around and cut the long tendril off of the the root. Okay. And then these are chioga beets and they're striped inside. I think they're also r super cool. Oh, I should put my So let me know when you mandolin glove on. Oh, your mandolin okay. glove. I've just I've dispatched mine. You're very brave. I know it's and stupid. No. But these are so beautiful. This is great. I'm gonna use the mandolin now. Awesome. Have you ever watched a food stylist do this? They like make no. things drop down from the sky so it looks really super natural. Like down. the forest floor. It's just like all the beets oh, just that, that fell like... there. So this too, I really want to <laughs> see. Mine's not working as well. <laughs> you have to, they want to stick together. It's not together. making it onto the plate. All right, so when you've got enough of your beets down that it looks pretty, you can still see what's going on underneath and you've got all these layers happening. Yes. Season one more time. Again, sort of just you know, olive so, oil. Just the olive oil and the salt still. Natalie, how do you feel like it's going? I'm feeling good about the mandolin. The I feel mandolin. like that's a discovery. Awesome. The zucchini does not look pretty to me. That's okay. You can cover <laughs> it up with all these beautiful pink and red things. Oh, so you're putting it on top of the zucchini? I am. Yeah. Oh. Like my zucchini is just there as like peeking out here and there a little Done. bit of green. And then take that tool off of your tool tray that's called a microplane. It looks like a fine grater. Have you used yep. these before? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna, we're gonna- I'm by, uh-huh, I mean, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> so all of those little grooves are just really sharp little teeth. Yeah. So take your lime and just gently run it back and forth. And oh, the zest is really just a, it's, oh. it's seasoning, it smells amazing. And now take that same lime that you zested, find your paring knife off your tray and cut the lime in half, squeeze the lime all over the salad. Like a lot of lime. I like acid. And again, like this is fresh and crunchy, but also sour and salty and it's got like a lot going on. All right, once you have your lime and your lime juice, pick up your coconut. Yes. And then just let it rain. Delightful. Right? Yes. You know, I created this just for you. Thank you. I can't wait to eat it. We're going into basil. What do you like to put in it? 
I'm gonna go with the Thai basil, which have like yeah. the purple flowers and the purple leafed ones. Yeah. And are you chopping it? Are you putting no, no, no. Whole Just leaves? break them apart as though the wind came and picked up the basil and sent it a fluttering. And then sesame seeds, all about chili flake, all over. More salt. Take a little more olive oil. Drizzle, drazzle. And then take the sesame oil, definitely put your finger over the opening and just do like a light little drizzle of sesame oil. Got it? Where are you? Sesame oil. Really? Yeah. We're done. All right. Okay, so now, on a count of three, we're gonna turn around and show each other our amazing okay. plant-based carpaccio. I'm gonna carpaccio. like drop it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my God, it's perfect. I love it. It's, it's very floral. It is. You had like a nice symmetric thing I going on. I like it smells too with it's the be uh, sesame oil. Super refresca. Yours looks incredible. Yours We're gonna looks switch. Beautiful. I'm okay. having yours and you're having mine. Thank you. Really beautiful. I'm seeing all the layers, which was like kind of the key. The first time I made this, I covered everything up. But you need to see everything that's going kind on. Kind of screwed the pooch with the uh, zucchinis. <laughs> <laughs> but they're These there. Are all beautiful. I like your pinwheel. All right, now we're going to okay. taste it. The lime juice is really coming through. Mm, it's very good. Super into it. All right, you were pretty nervous at the beginning. Uh huh. How do you feel now? Like I feel much better. The um, the coconut was definitely very difficult. Yeah, it makes you feel better. The third strike of the coconut, I slammed into my thumb. That doesn't make me feel better, I'm sorry. But I just had to keep going. I was like, no stopping at that point. So if you had to um, reduce yourself to a number, what, what number would you give yourself? I mean, like a four? What? <laughs> no, looking at this plate is like a, it's a 10. There's 15, nothing. you were gonna say, Yeah, right? it's perfect, except for the zucchini. I'm, do I'm docking you for the zucchini. Okay, good. So you're nine. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having and me. And come back anytime. I'd love to.